Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to integrate Zuhu CRM with Google Drive in 2023. By connecting these two powerful platforms, you can streamline your customer relationship management and enhance your data storage and collaboration capabilities. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps to seamlessly integrate your Zuhu CRM with your Google Drive. So make sure to stick by Let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go and of course, you'll have to go and access your uh, Zoho CRM settings. So let's start by logging in into our Zoho CRM account with the necessary, of course, administrative privileges. So for me, I'm just going to this URL section as example, I'm just going to type Zoho CRM. As an example, if it's your first time, and as you can see, you'll find here Zoho.com. Make sure to go and click on that. And as you can see here, if you have an account, you'll have to go and log in into it. But if you don't, you'll have to go and create an account. You, as you saw before, we had to get started there before they recognize that it's already have an account and they already logged in into it. You'll simply have to click on it and follow the prompts then uh, to create, of course, your account. Here you can even go and find the, the pricing of their plans if you are interested uh, with all the features that you may want. So, of course, you can simply click here to click at uh, access Zuho CRM. And here we are at our dashboard on Zoho CRM. Of course, we can simply go here and start like by entering our phone number uh, as an example. So let me just go here and do tests. And I'm just going here with some random numbers. And I'm just going to click on get started. Here, of course, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff if you want to. So as you can see, to set up your CRM account, you will have to make sure that CRM is smarter and more interactive. So of course, you'll have to start by inviting your team, uh, configuring your deals pipeline and connect your email account, then migrate your existing data. Then finally, of course, you'll be able to do some integrations. And in this video, as we said, we'll have to, uh, to integrate like our Google Drive with uh, the Zuhu CRM. So simply, we can, if we want, we can simply go and click on skip here. And from here, we'll be able just to go right away to our integration right away if you want. So we don't have to go through all those stuffs or all those steps. For you, of course, if you want to set up your account uh, like correctly, make sure to go and do all those uh, steps. It's not going to take from you a lot of time. But once you're done, of course, and you want to start some integrations, and of course, if you skip, you can always, as an example, click on your name at the top right corner. As you can see, uh, go to the landing page to set up your CRM. You can simply click here on start. And as you can see, for us, I'm just going to ignore those four steps. And I'm just going right away to the integrations. So for you, of course, you'll have to navigate to integrations. You'll find that normally, if you don't, didn't find this here as an example, you can find this in the second setting area or the settings area. You can locate the integration tab or section, and this is where you can manage and, of course, configure uh, various third party integrations, including the integrations with Google Drive. So let me just click on X. And as you can see here uh, on this integrations, we will find a lot of apps that we can find here, of course. We have Zuhu Webinar, Zuhu Backstage, Zuhu Projects, and a lot of stuff. So this is just for Zuhu. We don't want Zuhu, of course, on this list panel. We will have to go and click on Google. Of course, for you, you can click on all and look for Google Map or sorry, Google Drive. But let's just go to Google right away. So as you can see here, we have contacts, calendar or a Chrome extension for Gmail. You can install some extensions if you want or if you want to authenticate the Google Calendar or here on the contacts, you can authenticate the Google Contacts. On Microsoft, of course, as you can see, you can even go and integrate with a Microsoft Meeting, contact tasks if you want to. If you click in all, as you can see here, you'll be able to find all exten extensions. You'll be able even to find the installed one if you have one, and even the updates if some of them are needed. Let's just go to all extensions here, and let's just type or search for Google Drive as an example. So once I type the Google Drive, as you can see, uh, let's just look for Google Drive. So as you can see here is it. Use Google Drive extensions to save and share uh, and collaborate with files from within Zuhu CRM. So click on it. 
and normally you will be able to integrate with it for free as you saw so it's free because if you go back some of them as you can see you'll find this page so this extension or this app or this integration will be for free so it will not take from you anything so simply what you will have to do is just go and sell it once it's installed, of course, you'll have to go and allow Marketplace vendors to contact me regarding products, offers, and promotions. And by installing this app, you agree to the service, uh, service of Zoho Marketplace. You can click on them and read them all from here, so you'll not have any problem with them in the future. And of course, this is, is mandatory or necessary to be checked. But this is not mandatory. If you don't want to, you can list it as it is. Click on install, and it will be installed into your a Zuhu CRM. So as you can see, continue as this, or you can log in to another user. I'm just going to continue with this, and of course, I will have uh, to agree to the terms of service that we already saw before. And of course, you can even check this option, which is I authorize Google Drive to access and process my data as required. So make sure to check it. Click on Continue to install, and of course, you can install for admins only, or install for all users, or choose some profiles, choose whatever suits you. Then click on Confirm, and as you can see, it's preparing to install right now. So we'll have to go and wait a bit until it's installed. Once it's installed, of course, you'll have to go and configure the integration settings depending on whatever you want. So, as you can see, it's installed in the moment, 10% and completed. So, I'm just going to, you will receive a notification upon completion. I'm just going to click on OK. So, as I said, once it's installed, you will have to go and configure the integration settings. So, once the connection, the connection is established, you can configure the integration settings, decide uh, how you want like Zuhu CRM to interact with the Go your Google Drive account. And you might even want to specify like the folder, document types to synchronize uh, permissions and more. So as you can see, you can even authorize the 2.0 connectors for Google Drive if you want. If you don't want to, you can skip depending on whatever suits you. Of course, you can simply here go and connect to your account, allow, and you will normally be good to go. Of course, after that, you can, uh, as an example, go and do some uh, CRM fields to Google Drive if you want to. And let's just click on finish. So as you can see, it's installed and now the integration is completed. And once it's done, of course, you can even go and test the integration example. So if you want to, you can go and test it, then train even your team. So if uh, organ your organization uses like Zoho CRM collaboratively, it's essential to train your team on how to utilize the integration effectively, teach them how to save documents, retrieve information, and utilize the streamlined workflow. And you are going to be good to go. So if you reached this point of this video, congratulations, you have successfully integrated Zoho CRM with your Google Drive in 2023. Of course, as a result of all of that, maybe your team can work like more efficient and access critical information seamlessly. So thank you for watching and we hope this integration is being greatly productive for you and all your organization. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next video.